So next we're covering the high eyes of the disc assessment. The high eyes. I stands for influencer. The influencers in our world. Some of the ways that you can identify a high eye, some of those traits are gonna be the fact that high eyes are energetic, outgoing, talkative, friendly, excitable, very sociable, talkers. And on the flip side, because it's not always positive traits, right? It's gonna be people who are scatterbrained, distractible, poorly focused. Those are some of the traits that describe the high eye. Think of someone who's the life of the party. Who's someone in your life that seems like the super outgoing, can make a stranger into a best friend type of person? That's a high eye influencer. Now, more than anything, more than anything for high eyes, it is all about being liked. They want all these great relationships that are positive, that are likable. They wanna be seen, they wanna be known, they want to be liked. Now, a high eye, they are all about human interaction, all the humans. Would you wanna depend on them for focused, rigorous, repetitive tasks? The answer is no. That is something that high eyes struggle with. Discipline, focus, routine, repetition, follow through, that burns a high eye out. They are all about shiny objects, new adventure, new experiences, new relationships. They will never get the title of old reliable if they're a high eye something to keep in mind. Who's gonna be most likely late to something? It's the high eyes. Who's gonna to forget to do their quote unquote homework? It is the high eyes. Working with high eyes can be so fun, so fulfilling because of how much they value the relationships and how fun they can make it. But again, beware the follow through of the actual work itself is at risk because it can be perceived as boring and uninteresting to them. Influencers, gang. Influencers.